Hello everyone and welcome to the great outside. It's a beautiful day and I wanted to show you a couple of great finds. This and this guys are the two most common compact survival saws types types. This is the first one a H type buck saw uh, but this is probably the oldest style you know probably going back to 100 to 200 years of manufacturing something like this and this guys is the foldable saw now both of these are collapsible and they break down and they're roughly the same way just a couple of ounces but let me show you the couple little differences and uh, let me show you how they work so to assemble the buck saw is pretty simple the first thing that you do is you take out the key ring lanyard holder like this take it out and then everything just slides out like this then you'll notice your inner components most importantly you'll see the saw it has teeth on both sides so it can cut left to right really easily and this is replaceable of course you can buy uh, a sharper one whenever this finally dies on you this is the center cross cross uh, beam cross member and then you have the tensioner and it's just a simple winged nut like that and then it has a hook on that side now you have a larger piece with cutouts and then you have a smaller piece with cutouts you're gonna locate on, on, on my particular example I have these rubber end pieces here and then you will notice these identical holes that's for this cross member here so the first thing that I'm going to do is what I found is easier for me is to <clears throat> take and put the tensioner in in first and I have a rubber uh, not rubber but like a plastic washer and it sits like that okay mm -hmm. so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna insert the cross member like that and I'm going to find, see there's only one hole on this side, nothing on the other side. I'm going to put it in like that and attach this piece. So right now it's pretty loose and if you don't hold it somewhat in an upward angle, this thing can fall apart. But I'm going to locate and I'm going to put it in like so and then one more like that. And then just holding it in, in this upward angle. I'm just gonna tighten it and it's gonna straighten out. Super easy, guys. Okay. Give it just a little bit of pressure. Yeah, like that. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's fairly straight. And guys, just this, it makes it very rigid. You wouldn't believe how strong it is actually right now. But yeah, let's go see this thing in action now. With this one you gotta be careful not to bust your fingers as you know you're coming in so you don't hit your fingers like that so these survival saws are pretty useful when you're by yourself you know and you want to cut something and I can cut this by myself it's just gonna take me a little bit longer but the nice advantage guys is whenever you're using whenever you're using a buck saw like this you can call you know a friend or somebody else over and look how much faster I can cut this using two people. Okay. Oh. no my strange, so but oh hold on. Uh -huh. Мы наклоняем на твою Большой сторону. Большой кусок. На твою. А, давай. Дави вниз чуть-чуть. Дави. О, у меня закончилась, видишь, люфт. А, понял. Давай. 
Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, it's wrong. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> As you guys can see, it's pretty easy. There's limitations, of course, but look at that. <laughs> ah, спасибо. As you guys can see, something like that, you know, if you run out of gas for your chainsaw and you're really motivated, you can still build the house. So I'm gonna do a quick speed test and I'll be cutting right here approximately. This is about the same thickness. And I'm gonna start with this one and then I'm, I'll do this one. So a quick look of the pieces. You can see this was my first cut and this is my second cut. Notice that the, the first saw, even though it had finer teeth, the wood is fairly smooth and it makes a more pre uh, precise cut. And the other one, it had uh, wider teeth, bigger teeth, and it's more coarse. So this, even though it doesn't play a real difference, uh, I'll tell you this right now, the, the finer teeth, it's a lot smoother to operate versus the, the rough teeth right here. But all at the same time, guys, a really good interesting thing for the sawdust right there that we just made, if it's from a dry uh, piece of wood, is we can use it as a fire starter. And I guess another interesting thing to note is for some reason I've been, I've been finding that wet wood cuts a, a lot easier, you know, if, especially if you're building like a shelter or anything like that, not necessarily for uh, fire purposes. So just something to note, dry wood, once it hardens, uh, it's really, really difficult uh, to cut through it efficiently. And uh, you may potentially be wearing out your blades a little bit faster on that hardwood. Something really interesting to note is that these folding saws come in all shapes and colors and different brands. So something like this, if this doesn't suit you, you can get something bigger. And guys, I'm telling you, the prices on these things, depending on uh, what country has made it and what quality of steel it is, they, they go anywhere from $17 to 150 bucks. But re realistically guys, something like this, uh, you know, obviously you can use it with one or two hands, but you don't need a chainsaw with something like this guys. Because look how much leverage you have and how much working area that you have. So pretty much as you guys can see, these are very portable. I mean, at this point, it's just your preference. You know, this is a little bit, this is about the same cutting um, uh, perimeter, but you know, this one is the tube and this is a little bit flatter, a little bit wider, a little bit skinnier, longer, shorter. It's just your personal preference at this point, guys. <sighs> There's different replaceable blades for both these and these, so keep that in consideration but what's really nice to know guys it doesn't matter if there's a power outage you don't need any batteries you don't need any gas as long as you <clears throat> are strong you can cut down pretty much anything that you want all right guys thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time Paka, paka.